But it seems strange to say because when I, if I say the violence of it, which is one part, which if you ask most young people, they say they don't like the violence, they don't like the war, or they don't like that. Yeah, then they themselves are violent, which is which doesn't seem to make sense. No, it seems that you're encouraging it in a way. But it's an it's I suppose I don't think I don't think you have to be violent to overcome it. But some people do, and when they're violent against the police, it's just their way, the only way they have of showing it. Because they're not organised. How would you organise them? I would want to organise them. I don't feel that I'm a leader of, of them, whoever we're talking about. If you're a realist, and if you see the world as, it, as you think it is, as it really is, you try and see it as it really is, you can be just as angry and right from anger. Okay. But I'm, I don't think, oh, I'm screwed up, I must write a song about that. It doesn't happen like that. It's just a, a lack of, of people liking what you do. It's not a secret of anything. It's just doing the best you can and, and putting everything you've got into it and hoping people will like it. There's no real secret to that. Either people do like it or they don't. As long as people know about it, they have to know that you exist, which is a very important part of, if you're somebody new starting out in pop music, everyone has to know you exist. And once they know you exist and they hear what you have to offer, either they like you or they don't. And if they don't like you, which happened to us in America, when we, people knew about us, but they didn't like us. They didn't buy records until satisfaction which was a really big risk. Well, because I, because I just feel part of the thing that started off, I suppose. Because, and I feel part of the, the, the people that I won't, this isn't the first generation that's questioned the moral values of the last generation. But it's that I think it's one of the first generations which has not had to worry about the material things. Because if you're, if you're hungry, you haven't really got much time to worry about morals. I mean, when I say morals, I mean like fighting wars and whether this is right or this is right for this society to do that. If you're hungry, and if, you, if your stomach's full of food, you can start worrying about them. And this is what's happened. There's people will worry and worry more, and they'll have less and less work to do as the years go on. They won't have hardly any work to do because there will be machines to do it for them, which has already happened. And so that they'll have to work like four hours a day, and the rest of the time they've got to do something else. Why do you like something else? Well, that something else isn't, isn't going to be what people think. It isn't going to be just jumping around and swimming and, and just reading books and going to movies because they're, they're very, you get very bored with those things very quickly. Well, we don't know. That's the problem. But it's going to be, I hope it's going to be something good. I don't know.